Honourable tonight. Thank you. To your off level. Uh, kia ora no tata katoa, uh, Mr Speaker. Um, just as an opening comment, just to say that uh, this bill is entirely consistent with a range of uh, legislation that has been introduced into this House over the last three years as we attempt to respond to the perceived increase in white-collar crime. In other words, the interna internationalisation of hardcore cartels uh, within the context of the government's responsibility to monitor and manage activity. So it uh, takes place, of course, in the context in which the Minister of Finance is borrowing a massive uh, $250 million a week, a billion dollars a, a month, um, just to keep afloat. And so, uh, from our perspective, the Māori Party's perspective, it's, it's crucial that we do everything that we can uh, to bring the highest standards uh, to all levels of money management. Uh, Mr Speaker, the Māori Party is, is pretty keen on kicking uh, loan sharks out of town, and we're just as fierce about the need to, de to deter uh, dodgy business dealings between respective nations' uh, commercial activity. Uh, in this sense, sir, it is hard to argue with the logic of legislation that seeks to better equip regulators uh, both here and overseas to detect and deter anti-competitive behaviour. It has, in addition, uh, been an idea which has taken some time to get to the debating chamber. Um, I'm told um, that uh, Bell Gully made submissions on a discussion paper on the issues some four years ago. Uh, be that as it may, <coughs> um, we're happy to have it in front of the House in the first reading tonight. So the added dimension of this bill over and above uh, others, which also um, uh, tries to deal with corrupt and um, fraudulent behaviour, is that this one focuses on international cooperation. Uh, it is not as if the issue of cooperation agreements has not already been explored. Uh, the Commission already has four existing agreements in place, I'm told, with Australia, Canada, United Kingdom and Taiwan. Uh, this bill, however, is an acknowledgement that without compulsorily acquired information able to be shared, uh, mutual cooperation is somewhat uh, limited. Mr Speaker, the Māori Party believes that the intent is positive and that attempts to form relationships with other nations uh, to bring a higher level of scrutiny and transparency to all dealings related uh, to the commercial activities between nations. Um, basically, the Bill amends the Commerce Act 1986 to allow the, Commerce, uh, the Commission rather, to seek uh, a place under warrant uh, to establish if a person is breaching the Act. Um, so having a, a reputation for effective com competition laws and enforcement is considered to be vital in obtaining the confidence of potential foreign investors and in attracting finance for development. It is also a requirement that is often raised by other jurisdictions when negotiating free trade agreements. And, and just on that point, the Māori Party has always considered that the economic benefits of international trade agreements needs to be balanced uh, with consideration of our own local, regional and national social progress and environmental enhancement. Um, I think uh, the House would be well aware that, in brief, uh, the Māori Party supports fair trade agreements as opposed to free trade agreements. And throughout the debates that have taken place in the House about free trade agreements, uh, we've constantly raised the, the view that we also consider it to be fundamental to best practice that we, that we won, uh, that we should uh, ensure that trade relationships with other First Nations people, that we should establish trade relationships with other First Nations peoples, and two, that we would expect to see tangata whenua involvement in all decision making on international trade agreements. Mr Speaker, there's one, only one other aspect of, to our position on this bill which we would hope the select committee um, stage would provide an opportunity to respond to. We are aware that New Zealand firms already c comment on the length of time it takes the Commission to reach decisions in matters such as for mergers and other investigations. Uh, for them, a diversion of the Commission's limited resources away from its um, core functions would be unwelcome, as we understand the case to be when cooperation arrangements um, <clears throat> entered into uh, by the Minister of Commerce, th that Minister must consider the potential consequences for, for New Zealand consumers and businesses of providing compulsorily acquired information or investigative um, assistance to the overseas regulator. Uh, the bill uh, also provides for the Commission to seek payment from an overseas regulator of any costs it incurs in assisting. Um, if the Commission does this, it may help allay concerns about it diverting scarce resources, uh, but we hope uh, that we would hope that the select committee stage will enable a specific focus on this aspect of the bill. 
Uh, to this end, we await the response uh, from the bill and we support it at first reading to ensure that the, um, the bigger debate is able to occur. Kia ora tata. I call the